So it's not really a long way. Not as long as I remember it. I think maybe my brain interpreted it as longer when I was thinking. I think I used to think, oh, I've got to get that ice. I've got to bring it all the way back to him. It's not really a long way. It is a bit annoying having to do this so many times. Okay. Let's get through the door. God. For some reason, I thought that was the door. But anyway, I'm through now. Alright. Let's just go up here. Oh, for God's sake. It's been evil, will you? Okay. Oh. The door. Oh, nice. Oh, is it this door or is it the other door? I think it's this door. I hope it's this door. Yes. Now to the water tower. Oh. Right, let's climb the ladder and let's give him the ice. So yeah, I think it's something like three times. I'm going to keep doing it for as long as it tells me to, basically. And then I think he gives me, again, it gives me this tactical vest. So let me just go see. Ice, that's it. Yes, wake up, huh? Put this on the bruise. Thanks, feels better already. Okay, that's a little bit, um, it's a little bit, um, he's just like, oh, it feels better already. I'm like, dude, you hurt. He fell asleep again. Oh my god, it's awful. Right, I've just got to go back and get him some more ice. And then each time he gives you different items, so it's not too bad. And then I can go see Mr. Douglas. I can clear out dry field again. Which I'm more than happy to do, but I just need to deal with this Pierce situation first. Okay, so yeah, not very interesting this next set of videos to be honest, but it's got to be done. I'm determined to get this good ending if I can. I have to meet all the conditions, you see. I'm feeling confident that I can because I think there's only like two or three more I have to meet. Like I think you've got to call Pierce when you're in the shelter or do something so I'll have to look that up independently let's pop out here okay go this way um, get some more ice I had to think what I was doing then I was like why am I going this way I was like I need more ice let's get some for Pierce the old mucker He's a missed agent and he lets three of those things attack him. But well, never mind. There we go. It's a shame you can't take any more with you. She's like, I have enough. So you have to make multiple trips. A lot of backtracking. So yeah, I think this is kind of what put people off this game because. To get the good ending, I think, I suppose if you're a Parasite Eve 2 expert, I suppose it's quite easy. But for people like me who aren't, um, it can be just a little cryptic sometimes in that you have to do certain things at certain times. You know, like, almost to the latter. Because I, and my theory was correct, because last time I didn't open the moon gate straight away. Even though I did open it, I opened it after I cleared out some more creatures. But um, I triggered a cutscene, which was in the shelter which was almost the same sort of cutscene and it cancelled out the pierce thing so I think that's what the problem was so yeah it just I think that's why this game can be a little cryptic sometimes it's still a good game though and I still highly recommend it I think it's extremely underrated I think it's you know it's one of those ones that went under the radar and people thought oh it's just another Resident Evil clone which I've, I've mentioned multiple times in my video I don't think it's a Resident Evil clone personally because yeah it borrows some survival horror elements but it goes in its own little direction and that's all right with me I guess I'm just easily amused and easily pleased I guess but I, I really like this game anyway let's give more ice to Pierce okay I brought you some more ice. So thanks. Here, take this. Oh, I like it. I'm getting rewards. It's a bit like nectar points, really. Alright. 
Might be some toxin from the NMC attack that sedates him. Maybe he might do him more harm than good. Okay. Let's go and get him some more ice. Well, at least A is getting some exercise. That's one thing. <laughs> anyway. And I am gaining some uh, valuable experience points and bounty points as well. Alright, so. Let's go back, get some more ice. Alright, we'll go this way. Through the door. This way. Oh dear. Right. Okay. Alright, we'll go this way. Yeah, normally I would use my Parasite Eve 2 uh, walkthrough, but that's gone missing. I do have a walkthrough for this game I'm using, and I'll tell you the title of it. It's called PlayStation Secrets, Strategies and Solutions, Volume 9. And this is a really old book. It came out in 2000, so it's about 18 years old. And um, yeah, I, had a, I did have an actual Parasite Eve 2 walkthrough book somewhere, and I just can't find it anywhere, and it's really annoying because... Um, whenever I play my games, I always put everything down next to my PlayStation in that area, but I just can't find it now, and it's annoying. I'm sure it'll turn off. I hope it'll turn off anyway. I just can't find it now, and it's like really, really not good. Right, okay. But anyway, I kind of know what I need to do anyway, so we've got some more ice. Let's take some more ice back to Pierce, and let's just keep just keep doing it until until he might give me something he might give me um, I think he gives me that tactical armor or something or maybe I can get into his SUV anyway but I, I don't know if the the art the tactical armor is better than uh, the one that I've got so the size suit so it'll be interesting to see what the differences are and as I said, it's a shame you can't sell things in this game, because that would be really good. If you could sell items. You know, like in Final Fantasy. Rather than just buy them. But I guess maybe they didn't have the room, or maybe they just didn't have the time, or... It's really weird. Okay, so... Back to Pierce. So yeah, not very interesting so far. All I've done really is open the moon gate and give, gave Pierce some ice. Let's just keep doing it anyway. Let's just see if anything can be gained from this. Okay, there he is. Oh, he's stood up now. I think he's feeling better. Yo, are The swelling's gone down some, thanks to you. What, in five minutes? You should rest at the motel. I think I might just do that. Oh, I almost forgot to give you this. Oh, a charm. Alright, I've got no room for it though, but let me just see if I can just use something. I move something into my, um... There we go. I should be able to take it now, shouldn't I? No, it just says my inventory is full. So, I don't, I don't get it. There we are. Okay. I don't know what that does, but let's see what it does. It's a charm. There's some Japanese on this. Alright, oh, I've invoked antibody. Oh, cool. Thank you, Pierce. I appreciate that, mate, my son. There's a nice night breeze. Think I'll rest here a bit. Right. Okay, so I'm going to see if, if I can get any more ice. If not, then I'm going to go to his SUV and I'm going to get that tactical vest and see if, see if that'll do me. Now there is a piece of armour, and I mentioned this in my, oh god, when was it? I think it was, oh, videos ago now, several videos ago, where um, if you don't save Mr. Douglas's dog, and I didn't know this at the time, then, but you save Mr. Douglas, he gives you something called, the, is it the chicken armour or something like that? And that's supposed to be the best armour in the game, so... But you have to pull up with, like, the mediocre ending, I think. And have the worst armour in the game. It, best armour in the game, so... Yeah, it's very confusing. See, even I'm getting confused. Right, I'm just going to see if I need to get some more ice. If not, then... It's... 
through the gate to his SUV to get the uh, tactical armor. Oh my god. He may not need any more ice anyway, but, but let's just go out and check anyway. You just never know with this game. I'm not taking any chances anymore. So, you know. Right, let's just go to the ice machine. And then what we can do, I can probably go into Mr. Douglas actually and get some more stuff. Ice machine. Ah! See that? I have to get more ice for him. So, it doesn't make any sense. I have to keep going and get an ice for this guy. This could take a long time. So he's going to rest up there for a minute, so... That's what I mean. Um, that's why I say this game is very deceptive. Uh, it's like... Pierce stood up and he looked fine, so you would automatically think, I don't need to give him any ice. He's obviously fine. He just wants to rest there a bit, so it's best to check and make sure he doesn't need any more ice. Because I've got a feeling this game's going to try everything to stop me getting a good ending. Oh my god. And the problem is, if you don't know how to get the good ending, then you're never really going to get it unless you know how to do these specific steps. But I didn't even know. It was only until I got a walkthrough that I discovered that you have to do certain things in a certain order. It's really bizarre. Oh, anyway, let's go this way. Let's go up and see Mr. Pierce again. I'm getting so tired of getting him iced, to be honest. My thumbs are getting sore. Right, let's go and see him again. He looks almost zombified. Right, let's give him the ice. Well, I've got you some ice, Pierce. He's not letting me give him any more ice. That sucks. Okay, so I can't give him any more ice. So I don't really know what to do then. Very strange. Right, okay. I guess he doesn't want any more ice. Let me just turn down the volume on my laptop because I keep forgetting to do that. I don't know why. Okay, right. Okay, Mr. Douglas. No, the SUV, don't I? Oh, what is this rubbish coming up on my laptop now? I don't want any support assistance. Go away. Oh, just give me a second, guys. Just go away. There we are. It's so annoying when that happens. Right. So, Pierce doesn't want any more ice. It's really clear he doesn't, so... Um, I guess I'll go to his SUP, his tactical vest, and check it out. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, down here. And through the door. Tactical vest might actually give me more HP, I don't know. I think it does, actually. It might be more powerful than the size suit, so I probably may not have needed to buy the size suit. But I got it because I might mess up. Because knowing my luck, I've set out to do something in the game. And sometimes I'll not do the right thing, you know. So it's probably good that I did get it. I don't regret it because it's quite good, I think. There may be a better one. But anyway, let's just pop out here. Let me guess. NMCs? Mm -hmm. NMCs has to be. Yes. This is ridiculous. That must be where it was attacked. Pierce, anywhere I think. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but. Ah, Night Stalker, Zebra Stalker, whatever it is. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just turning my light off because uh, the light bulb tends to twitch. 
every now and again and sometimes that indicates the bulb is getting too hot so <laughs> okay and what have I got I've got the tactical vest and a cylinder right so let me just let me just try something now I want to use let's see what the tactical vest does okay Ring of solution, move, recovery, move, rifle, move. Okay, and my rifle, please. Oh, my rifle's there anyway, isn't it? Do I need to put my rifle in? I don't think I do. I do, but you never know. All right, we'll put uh, an MP boost in there. There we are. So, let's see what I've got. Just heal myself. Oh, I've got plenty more HP. Fantastic. So, yeah, tactical vest. Thank you, um, Pierce, for that. And why is it saying my inventory's full? It's, it's saying my inventory's full, and it isn't. I've got more attachments here. I'm going to discard the size suit then. Yeah. It's a waste of money that was, but it... Well, not really wasting money. I just thought, well, if I'd have known I was going to do this well and get this ending, I would have been able to, um, you know, I would have, I would have got this. Not worried about. It, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The cylinder. What does the cylinder do? All right, use cylinder. Let's see what it does. It's increased my my MP. So yeah, pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Now I need to go and see Mr. Douglas. Now how am I going to do this is the question. I'm going to have to go through the Jack Cactus store again. And go and see him. The dilapidated, I can't say it, dilapidated house. I think I'll just check that first actually. Clean that area out. And then I'll go see Mr. Douglas. I might even have to clean out the well down below. If I need to, then I will. If not, that's okay. Nothing out here. Anything in the shop? Yeah, creatures. Alright, well, A is away. The creatures will play, I guess. Oh, for God's sake. A scorpion there. Oh, it's two scorpions. Right. I can't see what's going on, so I'm just gonna blast them. There we are. Nice. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby. So, with that being done, uh, let's go. This way. Let's check out. These last two rooms before we head down the well. Well, thanks to Flint, who helped me find Pierce. I'm very grateful for that. Any more? Any more? There you go, guys. That's how you do. Nice. Alright. So, we're going to check out the other room now. If I can. He says. What am I even doing? A wardrobe stock empty. Right. Something's not right here. Oh. I was in the wrong... <laughs> I was in the wrong place. I was like, where's the hole? I thought the holes disappeared. I was in the wrong place. Now let's go in here and check out this room. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. That's good. That's awesome. Right. Groovy, groovy. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Nothing there. Nice. I guess I've just got to go back down the well now. Check on Mr. Douglas. See how he is. I bet he probably won't tell me much. I don't know, it'd be nice to have a little cutscene catch up with him. 
He is, I think, one of my favourite characters in the game. I, just because the fact that he comes across as really gruff, but he's actually very caring about Aya and things, and he wants her to succeed. And I just love the fact he sits there with Flint. He just seems so laid back, and he's got all these guns and everything that you can buy. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, Mr. Douglas is the man. <laughs> Mr. Douglas is the man, son. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hello. Alright, we take him right. That's how you do it. Oh my god, I might even be able to buy some some cool weaponry. Who knows? I've got really good armor. I'm very excited about this. So this is gonna be so cool. Alright, what's in this room? Oh, they've respawned. Alright, let's deal with these guys. I'm not gonna take a shot yet, so on. Make sure I take these things. Oh there we are. Oh these bats it's driving me insane. Bat shit insane. <laughs> Alright, I think some creatures around here we can take out. There you go. Fantastic. I'll tell you what, I'm loving this game now. I'm really loving it. The fact that I've been able to save Pierce and get the get the get some decent armor is really good. So I'm really happy with that result. Right, so with that being done. I've cleaned out everywhere. So I need to go back and see Mr. Douglas now. Who is. Oh, hang on. I, I, I know I'm having a bit of a mental block here. Okay, do I go this way? I think I go this way. Up the ladder, through the door, right, I got it. Up the rope, isn't it? I think, yeah. I suppose I could have, I might have been able to get to him by the water tower, but I wanted to clean out uh, these areas first, just in case. Right, I have to go see him, then I'll return to the shelter. That'll be the best thing to do, I think. All right, so he'll be, hopefully he'll be home now. All been well. Okay. There's several ways of getting to him. In the garage. Oh dear, what a surprise. NMCs. There's one. Alright, have some pyrokinesis. Next. Oh, look at that. You can clearly see it there. It's ridiculous. Just die, will you? Do us all a favour. There you go. Nice. All right, there we go. All right, I tell you what, I'm running out. My voice is just, I'm just about struggling today with my voice. I've done lots of Let's Plays this week, so I think that's the problem. Lots of videos, I mean. Anything here? No, nothing here, that's good. I'm expecting an ambush though, that's the thing. Let's see if I get one. I'm about to go to Mr. Douglas's trailer. Now would be a good time to ambush me. Nope. Okay, not going to ambush me. Right, we'll go to the trailer and we'll save the game, I think. That'll be the best thing to do. And I'll carry on in another set of videos, I think. Right. Hello, Mr. Douglas. Anything new to tell me? Percy, you made it. While you were gone, I bought some more goodies from the warehouse. Oh, Mr. Douglas, I love you. What a guy. Doesn't matter, mate. I've got the tactical armor. That's going to do me. Let's see what weapons he's got. Is there anything else I can buy? A pike. A small portable flamethrower. Custom M4A1 attachment grenade pistol. Oh. The rapid fire 12 gauge combat shotgun. Now that is badass. Do you know what? I'm going to buy it. There you go. And let's see if I can buy any ammunition with that. Oh, 
Alright. Can't find any bookshop, but I will buy some more rifle rounds. There we are. Nice. Be careful out there. I win indeed, so I've got a decent weapon. That'll keep me going. And let's uh, let's save the game, guys. So yeah, I thought I'd buy the most expensive weapon, and this will help me just in case I get stuck, I think. Because I know some of these creatures are really tough, so I need all the help I can get. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much. This has been Lucas Macintosh. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out my retro play channel and my videos. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to support the channel. Keep checking back for new retro content. And please don't forget to give me some feedback as well. And join me next time for some more Parasite E2, where I'll be heading back into the shelter to kick some more NMC booty and hopefully meeting Pierce. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.